This video is on using the Optimize feature in Quilter's Creative Touch Beginnings and Standard. So what I have here is a design that when I laid it out on the previous screen, these two, uh, I had four patterns, and the patterns did not quite touch, so you see a little blue dot there, and what that means is my machine is going to stitch to here, take a few stitches, drag to this point, take a few stitches, and then stitch out the next design, and so on, and so it'll stop at every blue dot. I don't want that, um, I just want it to stitch a short little line there. So what you do is come up to Optimize, and click that. And now, before I show you how to remove that line, I want to show you one more thing while we're in here. See the yellow numbers? That means it's going to stitch this pattern first, second, and so on. Well, let's say you wanted to stitch this one last. Um, so, the way that works is, since I have four patterns up here, I would come down to this space here, and I would go to number four. And it won't let me go past that because I only have four patterns chosen. And then I would just simply click on or tap this yellow box and see how it changed to a four. And now it's going to stitch this one first, this one second, third, and fourth. And uh, I would never do that on this design, but there are times when you're going to need that. And so I just wanted to show you how to, to use it. So now I'm going to go back and make this one number two. Okay, now I want to remove these blue lines because if you'll see under Animate Stitching, it will show you that the machine is going to stop there, and I don't want it to stop there every time. So the quickest way to do that is say Remove All, so I tap that. Do you wish to collect the, connect the first and last points? You never do. Well, I never do because that would draw a big... I mean, I'm sorry, it would stitch a big line from this red dot all the way over to this green dot over here. So, um, I usually say no here. And now they're gone. And now see this changed to one, so it's just stitching out one pattern. And I'm okay with that little line right there. I'd rather have that than my machine stopping every time. So then you just uh, tap OK. And now you're ready to place your design and sew it out. Now, a case where you might not want those would be this case so I'm going to go back and I'm going to choose another pattern um, let's see a block let that be good and place it now I'm just adjusting to be able to show you so in this situation uh, because I chose a block, my stitching is going to start in the middle, it's going to stitch out the whole block and end in the middle. And then it's going to go over to here and start in the middle and stitch out. In this case, I would want to leave these jump stitches. And I'll show you in Optimize what that would be like. I'm going to animate stitching and see it would stop right here and no I don't want to remove that break because then it's going to stitch a line all the way to the middle and so this would be a case where you would not optimize you would not even go to this feature um, just at the end of after you have stitched your design you would come back and clip these points um, the only time that I usually join them are when they start and end like right here or maybe right in the middle or here. So it's always good if you're not sure where it's going to start and stop or how it's going to work, just go to Optimize and do Animate Stitching and you can increase the speed so that it will stitch really fast or you can slow it down if you want to and now it's ready to stitch.